Kraken is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges out there. And if you wanna go and buy some Bitcoin, you can actually have some really great and advanced methods for doing this. On Kraken, you can buy Bitcoin with a credit card or deposit some cash on account to benefit from some lower trading fees and also some more advanced trading features. In this video, I'll show you how to get started buying Bitcoin on Kraken, the easy way, and then the more advanced way that Kraken gives us. I will split this video into sections and leave all the timestamps in the description for you so you can go ahead and flick through the areas that you need to see. Also, I'll put some other helpful Kraken tutorials listed in the description as well. And if you wanna sign up for Kraken and you haven't yet, I'll leave the link there. You can click that, go through to the homepage, set up an account, and then get ahead buying some Bitcoin. Firstly, before we go ahead and buy anything, we definitely wanna set up some payment methods. And there are a couple that you can do with Kraken. You can deposit and withdraw anything you like. Fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies can be deposited and withdrawn to other exchanges or wallets. The simplest method to go ahead and buy Bitcoin though is adding a credit card and you can actually do it right from this screen. So we can click add debit or credit cards here and you just have to input your credit card number, name, expiration and the three digits on the back. You can see that Visa, MasterCard and Maestro are all supported. This is in the UK. I have a UK account, might be different in your country. So just check with that one. Once you've inputted that information though, just go ahead and click add new card and that payment information will be saved for you. And you can go right ahead and buy Bitcoin from that credit card. Using credit cards to buy cryptocurrencies is the most expensive way though. There are gonna be extra fees and charges on top for using that credit card. So just to be aware of that, it is very simple. You can go ahead right away, but there are other options. So we can actually add a bank account to our Kraken account as well. And you may or may not have this option up here that I can see, which is finish setting up your account. So once you're verified to trade, you can go and click on fund your account. So I'm gonna click on this. It's gonna take us through to the funding page. Now, if you don't have that drop down box, it is just up here. It's the link right here. So you can click on funding and it's gonna take you through to that very same page. Then you can go and check what currencies that you are actually available to deposit on account. You can also come up here and click on show all assets and this is gonna give you a more detailed list. For some reason, the Aussie dollar is left out for me and when I click show all assets, the Aussie dollar is here, but I can go and deposit pound sterling on account. Down here, if you want to deposit or withdraw cryptocurrency assets, that is here as well. I'm gonna go and click on deposit for pound sterling, whatever fiat currency you want to deposit, you can click on that option. So come through and click deposit. It's then gonna give you a few different options in Kraken. Firstly, if you are new and you wanna go ahead and buy some Bitcoin, just check out these details. You won't be able to withdraw funds for 72 hours after your first fiat deposit amount, probably not gonna be a big deal for most people. Then coming down to deposit method, in the UK anyway, there are a few different options. These options may change depending on your country. I'm sure they're gonna use different banking systems in each country and different banks. But for the UK and Europe, you're probably gonna be looking at chaps or backs. But if I go to Swift, you can see all the information here specifically with Swift payments. I'm just gonna scroll down and you can actually see the fee. So for Swift payments in the UK anyway, the fee is three pounds per transaction. You have a minimum input of four pounds and then the maximum is I think five million. If we also come up and just switch this to chaps, actually this is even more expensive. This is a 22 pound minimum and the fee for a chaps payment is 21 pounds. Obviously super expensive, but if we come to a BAX or a faster payments, this is completely free of charge in to Kraken. You can see right down here that the maximum amount is 200,000 and the minimum is one, but there's no fee here. So this is a free of charge payment. This means that you can transfer fiat currency from your bank account into Kraken's account free of charge and then go ahead and trade. Firstly, be sure to include the reference code given below in your payment and the name on the bank account and your Kraken account have to be the same. So when you were signing up and you gave that information over, that has to be your name, your address, all of this has to match. So if it doesn't, there's gonna be problems with the payment. The information that you're going to need is the account name, which is Payward Limited. You have to put that into the payee name when you are sending the transfer from your banking application. And then we just have all of their different codes. So they have their BIC here, their IBAN. Sort code and account number are gonna be really important if you're sending payments in the UK. And then the most important 
out of all of them is the reference right here. This has to be absolutely exactly the same. Every banking app in the UK will have a space for a reference or a note. This is what you have to include. I would suggest copy pasting over into your banking app. The payment may take a little while to show up as well, but once you have some fiat currency on account, you can then go ahead and trade it. There are a couple of different ways to go ahead and buy Bitcoin on Kraken though. So we're gonna come actually to the prices tab first. This is something you're going to want to look at before you actually go ahead and trade. It's gonna give you the current market prices for the cryptocurrencies listed. This is basically an overview of the market and the market snapshot. You can go ahead and change the currency that they are valued in right here. So if you want them valued in US dollars, you can do that. This is the price of each cryptocurrency right here. So we're looking at Bitcoin. You can see the 24 hour change and of course the market cap. Just as a side note on the Kraken desktop application, you will see Bitcoin referred to as XBT. Virtually all other exchanges and wallets refer to Bitcoin as BTC. It is exactly the same thing, it's just a different ticker. It makes no difference at all, but if you are confused at what XBT actually was, it just is the way that Kraken Desktop refers to Bitcoin. You can click on buy sell right here. It's gonna take you straight back to that page. I'm just gonna close this option. Then we can go to buy crypto here and get through to buying in the simplest way. So we come to buy right here. How much of your fiat currency do you want to spend? Or you can change this to the amount of Bitcoin that you want to buy. You can choose any cryptocurrency here actually. You can search for it. Any ones that are supported on Kraken, you can go through and click them. And then that will change into the buy box right here. If I click down again, you can come and search and just type the ticket in. So if I type BTC, it's still gonna come up with Bitcoin or you can just choose XBT and it's gonna come up with the same thing. So let's just choose Bitcoin right here. Enter the amount that you want to purchase, click on purchase right here and that will go through for you. This is by far the simplest method of buying Bitcoin on Kraken. There are a couple of downsides though. The biggest one is that you have absolutely no control over the exchange rate or the price that you're getting for Bitcoin. If you want a little bit more control over the price that you pay for Bitcoin and actually how you buy it, we can come over to trade. And this is slightly more advanced, but it is a good way to really control how you're buying your Bitcoin. There are actually three ways to do this on Kraken. You can input a new order and then you can go simple, intermediate or advanced. Let's go through all of these then and I'll show you why it's important to know how to actually input these orders because it gives you more control. Firstly, if you want to go ahead and buy Bitcoin, we can go to a simple order. Then we can be a buyer. You can change this to sell it if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Something quite strange on the Kraken uh, app for me anyway, is that when I do come through to this page, it switches me to the Bitcoin Euro market. And that's definitely not what I want to trade. So if you have this issue, come up to this right here, this market right here, click on this, then we can go ahead and trade uh, Bitcoin against any cryptocurrency that we want. So if you're in the States, click US dollar and you'll get the Bitcoin against US dollar market. I'm gonna go for pound sterling though. So we're gonna to come to more and I'm gonna change this to GBP right here. Now I can go ahead and trade Bitcoin against GBP. I'm gonna click on this one. Now we're trading, you can see GBP and not euros. If you ever want to change the currency pair, the market that you're trading, come up to this market tab. It is slightly confusing on Kraken, so just come here and change it as you want. Now we can go through and input our orders. How many Bitcoin do you want to buy? I'm gonna buy at 0.005 like this. And you can also choose the price that you pay for Bitcoin. This is completely different to the buy crypto tab where we had no control over the price that we paid. You can actually come up here and see the last price that was traded in Bitcoin versus pound sterling to give you an idea of what price you should be paying. So 33, 833 like this. That is slightly below the current market price. You can see it's changing all the time here. It will therefore give you this equal sign and you can see 0.005 Bitcoin valued at 33,833 pounds per Bitcoin is a simple transaction of the amount times the price. And we have this estimated amount to spend right here. So it's quite simple. With this order, you can choose the amount, the price, and then it will show you how much you're actually going to spend. If you really don't care about the price and you just wanna get your order done and through, then just click on this market right here. A market order is an order where you don't choose the price whatsoever. You just take whatever price is there in the market right now when you input the order. You can though choose the amount that you want to buy. 
Both of these options are grayed out because you don't choose the price and therefore it can't give you an estimated amount that you're gonna spend. If we switch this back to limit, we can choose this and you can input any price that you want. So I could put in 500 pounds here and you could enter that order. It's definitely not gonna go through. You're not gonna be able to trade this, but you can put it into the system. Let's put this back to a reasonable amount then like this. Then we can go to the intermediate level. There's a few more options here, but we can once more input the amount of Bitcoin that we want to buy, 0.005. The order type, I'm just going to choose a limit order. So I have to input the price, 33,000. It's gonna give me a total amount that we should spend on Bitcoin if the order goes through. In intermediate, you also get to choose some time scales. So we can come to start. You can choose a custom date when the order is input. You don't need to input it right now. You can input it at a later date. You can also choose when the limit order cancels. So when you have a limit order, you might not actually trade because your price may be below the current market price. So you can actually say to Kraken, well, put this order in for one week. If the price never falls to my level, then I've missed out and I have to input a new trade. And after a week, you can just cancel this order because it's not gonna get done. You can also choose the fee currency as well between Bitcoin or pounds. So any trading fees you can pay either from your fiat currency balance or from your cryptocurrency balance, in this case, Bitcoin. Also important to understand is post limit order. And this goes into the fees of Kraken as well. If you're placing a limit order and you're trying to get the price of Bitcoin fairly cheap, then I would suggest just ticking this post limit order. Kraken has two different types of fees for people that add liquidity or take liquidity away from the book. It gets a bit complex, but essentially if you're putting a limit order in and you tick this, then you're actually adding liquidity onto the book. It means that you're basically showing orders and giving orders to Kraken, showing them what you want to trade at and how many you want to trade. And you're also showing other people that liquidity as well. That is a positive thing for Kraken because the more orders, the more people trading, the more people show their trades, the more vibrant the marketplace is. So that's a good thing. And they reward you with that with slightly lower fees. If you don't do this, you're gonna pay slightly higher fees. It is very, very small and probably isn't a big deal for most people with what they're trading, but that is really how it works. If you're happy with the amount of Bitcoin you wanna buy, the price, the total amount that you may pay and any time scales that you have for the order, you can go ahead and just click buy Bitcoin with GBP or dollars and then that will go through and enter that order for you. And the last one is advanced and it adds some more things on. So if we click advanced, we can go through once more. So the volume 0.005, we do want to put a limit order on here and the limit price we can put 33,000 like before. I'm not gonna go over using leverage in this tutorial, that's too complex. We can also put those timescales in just like we did before and choose the fee currency, just like with the intermediate level. But now in advance, we have some conditional clauses. So when we put a limit order here, we're telling Kraken to go ahead and work this order for us. It may not actually execute because our price may be too cheap. Well, that's called a limit order. We can actually put an extra limit order to this trade though. I will show you one type of order, which is a stop loss. A stop loss is a secondary limit order that you input. If we're a buyer and we go ahead and buy Bitcoin at 33,000, we can at the same time input a sell order. A stop loss is an order that stops any losses. So let's say we buy some Bitcoin at 33,000 and the price of Bitcoin moves against us and we actually start losing money. You can tell Kraken if you lose a certain amount of money to cancel out your trade and essentially stop any further losses. You can input that stop price then. So maybe you want 32,000. So if the price of Bitcoin falls from 33,000 to 32,000, then Kraken will sell all of your Bitcoin and take you out of the trade, stop you trading, stop any positions that you have and cut any further losses that may occur if the price falls further. If this seems a little bit too complex for you, I do know that I've just gone over this very simply. I have some more in-depth tutorial videos about what trading is, what all of these order types are, and how to trade specifically on Kraken and Kraken Pro and also Kraken Terminal, which is part of the more advanced services that Kraken give. You can check out the Kraken playlist on my channel. It will have all the information there for you if you wanna go ahead and watch that. Once you have inputted all your orders though, you can keep track of them in the orders tab. Any open orders that haven't been executed or traded yet will be in here for you. Any positions that you have of cryptocurrencies, these are things that you hold. So if you went ahead and bought Bitcoin, this would show up in your positions. And trades just gives you a rundown of all of the different trades that have occurred in your trade history. 
You can also come over to your portfolio. So you can actually come to funding like this. And for some reason, this is the portfolio. You can see all your balances here. So any balances that you have of Bitcoin or other cryptos, you will see them here. You'll see an overview of all of your balances, both fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies. If you want to go ahead and buy Bitcoin on Kraken right away, I'll also leave the link to sign up for Kraken in the description so you know you're going through to the right place to get ahead and start trading Bitcoin right now. Do subscribe to the channel if you want way more helpful cryptocurrency content and I'll see you in the next one.